the top five most exciting and most luxurious African safari tours. Safari means long journey in Swahili. Today, safari goers can bypass the arduous upcountry trek of yesteryear and be deep in the African bush within 24 hours of Heathrow. Nonetheless, that earlier romanticized era of Blixen and Hemingway retains its allure. Your choice of safari comes down partly to the wildlife. Many places boast all or most of these, but some offer better odds than others. Then there are the equally iconic giraffes, zebras, and hippos, not forgetting the fascinating smaller stuff from chameleons and dung beetles to meerkats and hornbills. These safaris were handpicked from our selection of popular African safari tours throughout Southern Africa and East Africa. Each of them are the best for their specific reasons or suited for a particular travel audience. Let's dive in, starting at number five. Number five, South Luingwa National Park, Zambia. Zambia's top park is generally seen as a destination for the more discerning. Thanks to its expert guiding and small owner run lodges promoting an all around bush experience. Nonetheless, South Luingwa is also a top spot for first timers. Toward the end of the dry season, game concentrates in great numbers around the shrinking river and its hippo choked lagoons. And with the exception of rhino and cheetahs, you can expect easy viewing of a full wildlife spectrum. Night drives allow the thrill of following big cats on the prowl. There is no better park for a leopard. While guided walks offer an enthralling ground level insight into the bush, indeed this park is known as the home of the walking safari. This is a challenging destination for the independent traveler. More high-end lodge territory, but you can expect excellent all-around safari for your money with top wildlife, attention to detail, and raw bush appeal. Number four, Chobe National Park and Moremi Game Reserve, Botswana. Botswana is a dry land, yet paradoxically, some of its best game viewing is by water. Come the dry season, wildlife throngs to the riverfront. In the far north, lions and hyenas roam the loop roads, while sable are among the many herbivores. Victoria Falls is just a day trip away. Further south, the Moremi Reserve protects the eastern fringes of the Okavanga Delta, where seasonal waterways lure prolific game numbers from the surrounding Mopane woodland. Predators, including wild dog, are abundant. Boat cruises across the lagoons or Makoro trips down the narrow channels offer plentiful big game and bird life. These two destinations are often combined, transferring either by air or an arduous road trip. The latter, via Suvati famed for elephants, lions, and hyenas, both can be crowded in peak season. Self-drive is only for the experienced, but there are budget mobile packages using government campsites, plus numerous lodges. Number three, Kruger National Park, South Africa. Some purists argue that South Africa's premier national park is too crowded and managed. Certainly, its tar roads and large camps are not for everybody's taste, but its 22,000 square kilometers mean room for all comers, with enough back roads and bush camps to satisfy those with serious wilderness cravings. Whatever your tastes, there is no denying the wildlife. With the big five, including both rhino species, all thriving, plus cheetah, wild dog, numerous large herbivores, and 500 plus bird species, you will see a huge selection here. The secret is that the habitat variety, from hills and savanna to woodland and river vine forest, abundant water helps, with perennial rivers ensuring game concentrations year round. All weather roads also make this a top bet for the rainy season. The upside of development is choice, from exclusive lodge to large public camps, and from night drive to wilderness trail, Kruger really does offer everything. First timers and budget travelers will probably find this Africa's easiest and most rewarding safari destination. Number two, Serengeti National Park and Nkokoro Crater, Tanzania. The Serengeti is arguably the best known wildlife spectacle on the planet. Everything that applies to the Maasai Mari, its northern extension, applies here. 
from the scale of the Great Migration to the ease of sighting predators, except for the Serengeti at nearly 15,000 square kilometers is nearly 10 times bigger, which means that its plains are much more endless and there is a greater habitat variety. It also means that visitors are a little thinner on the ground than in the Mara. The center of the park around Serenera is often busy, but private concessions on the north and west offer more exclusive options. The Nagoro Crater sits at a short drive to the east, still within the Serengeti Conservation Area. This volcanic caldera encloses 2,500 square kilometers of plains, forests, and lakes, and harbors an improbable concentration of wildlife, including lions, elephants, and black rhinos. Such riches draw the crowds, and a place can sometimes seem like a wild zoo. But should your lifetime safari going be confined to a single day trip, then it should probably be here. Number one, Masai Mara, Kenya. Picture just one safari destination, and chances are it's this one. If only because many a TV documentary has made Kenya teeming savannas, flat top aseas, and lazy predators emblematic of a continent, the Masai Mara is a northern extension of Tanzania's Serengeti and the huge herds of wildebeest and other grazers that arrive from July to October dominate the park's ecology with a similar way. This jaw-dropping spectacle is a magnet for predators. There is no other place to notch up lion and cheetah in a double quick time helped by the open terrain and the cat's ease around vehicles. Other dracards include elephants, giraffes, and rare black rhinos. The Mara's downside is its popularity, sometimes leading to intrusive clusters of minibuses. For a more exclusive experience, head to upmarket camps in the west. Rough roads and seasonal flooding rule out self-drive for first-timers. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next video.